Guys, welcome back to the channel. So we picked up a Tom DeLong Blink 182 Epiphone Semi Hollow 333. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take the guitar apart, put some new strings on, clean up the frets, clean up the um, fretboard, uh, check out the uh, the pickup, and then. Uh, just have a little listen to it at the end. Stick around if you want to see us pull this thing apart. So we picked up this Tom DeLong guitar from uh, from my local store. There's a, a video on my on the, on the channel um, about this store, showing me going around and looking at stuff. And uh, actually, here's a picture of it hanging up in the store. And I walked in and went, Tom DeLong. Like, these are so rare. They stopped making these now. These are so rare. And the last one I saw was uh, on Trogley's guitar show when he was uh, going through them. And even these Epiphones pull a a really high price now because they were discontinued so uh, this one was priced really good so I just grabbed it and it came with a hard case as well so you know double bingo for that one okay so let's get it on the table let's pull it apart and let's see what's inside it so first of all let's check the output of the pickup on this guitar. So we have 15.18, 15.2 on the pickup. So that is a hot pickup. So what we'll do now is we will take the strings off of this and uh, looking at fitting some early ball 10 to 46s. As you can see, I'll give the fretboard a bit of a bit of a Dunlot 65 and we'll check inside the pickup and have a look uh, have a look whether or not it says Gibson or not inside there so we'll be back in a minute so with the strings off now what I'm gonna do is um, take off the neck plate have a quick look see what is under there see if it's the same as on uh, on the Gibson that I saw on Trogley's guitar show there we go. I'm slightly different. As you can see, it's uh, just a big hole. <laughs> There's no uh, middle piece on the neck. Um, I will check the, the tail piece, which is a Epiphone, and the bridge which is also Epiphone and then we'll take the pickup out and have a look see what we've got under here this is supposed to be uh, the same pickup that's on the Gibson so I'm just wondering if it actually says Gibson on the back or Epiphone we'll see <laughs> Hoping it's the same. So let's have a look. We've got just says dirty fingers pick up eleven, twenty nine, sixteen. Yeah, it just says um dirty fingers as a a number on there. And uh, 11, 29, 29th of the 11th, 16. Okay, so some one of the things to to be wary when you're doing the strings on one of these guitars is this matte paint could scratch really easily. So just be careful with the ends of your strings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a fret polish, oil the fretboard up, and then we'll get some new strings on it.
Thank you.